We always don't have money to buy faders from Blackmagic Design and have to make a plans. In other words, we are broke. As you can see, the prices are always high, like 71,000 rand. Filming equipment is costly and pricey. And sometimes I find myself wishing that I had all the money in the world to buy all this equipment and shoot the highest quality. But then, yeah, you just a window shopper. Did you know you can use the Archoria Killer Essential 61 keys, faders, panning, and also play and fast forward from the MIDI without the use of a keyboard or the mouse? In DaVinci Resolve Fairlight page, what's even a bonus is you can use this to automate your faders as well as panning just from the keyboard. If you stick around till the end of this video, I'll walk you through setting up both. Killer Essential and DaVinci Resolve discuss any other equipment that are comfortable with Fairlight. We good. Welcome to High Ink Studios where we discuss filming equipment, growth on YouTube, DaVinci Resolve, Blender and many more. Without further ado, let's just jump into the video. In Fairlight, let's patch and record the audio for this function. I have created a mono track and patched it already so we can just start recording. Testing, testing. Mic check, testing, testing, one, two, three. Mic check, testing, testing, one, two, three. Now with that out of the way, we can now connect our key lab essential to our PC. We need what is called printer cable to do this. You may need to install your drivers. In your MIDI center, go to device settings and then you will change it from Make Control to HUI then store to device. Once done, we can exit from this page. Pin up DaVinci Resolve and then go into preference. Here we need to change it to HUI. Then you need MIDI in Archeria Key Lab 4. The other Archeria Key Lab you see on top with 61 is only for your keys, like when you play piano or foley sounds. As for the MIDI output, I leave it blank or leave it at Keylab Essential 61.4 and I will show you why. Click save and you will be greeted with the preference updated. Just read through and click OK. You need to restart your DaVinci Resolve. You need hard beats for your videos? Then check out saltyboybeats.com with promo code for 25% discount at checkout. Link in the description. Now let's open up your DaVinci Resolve again and then now you just have to set up your map select to door. It's the one that is going to control Fairlight page. Now you can just press play. You can also stop. Fast forward, stop, play, rewind and play. The recording button and other functions don't work. To move around your banks, you will just use the bank, previous and next, and it will control your faders as well as your pinning. Channel 2 here doesn't work because it's already set out. You can see it's already green. So we will leave it out and we will control other faders. One up until eight. So we have 16 banks here. We can only control one up until eight. At the moment, master controller doesn't work. So just leave it out. So now say we want to move from channel 1 up until 8 on to 9 up until 16. How do we do that? So now let me just uh, set the volumes to what is acceptable for now. Press your bank. So basically here what we're doing is we're trying to move 8 channels off and start from ninth channel so you just have to press next and then now we are on to the next channel you can see we're starting from now nine up until 16 then we can control all these channels this includes also pinning you can also control that You may need to install your drivers. 
in your MIDI center, go to device settings. So you can pan around. At the same time, this is a plus because then if you have skill set to control all of them at the same time, then you can do so. Or two channels at a time. Now, what about the keyboard? You can also play your mood drones and everything. Let me just add contact from the instruments. BST. Now, I do have this as a favorite, so let me add it from there. Now, with contact here, let me add the instrument action strikes. Just wait for it to load up. It takes some time. And here you have it, you can play. Oh, there's no sound. Okay, uh, so your MIDI is on channel one and your contact doesn't have that channel. So you have to set it in contact. So in contact, just go Achoria 61, channel one. And from there, you will just have to hear the sounds. You can also reduce the volume same time as you are playing it. Increase the volume. However you want it. Pan around. Reduce the volume. And do whatever you want with this. Now you can see how to add Achoria 61 into DaVinci Resolve Fairlight page and control both the keyboard as well as the faders, panning, and play, stop, fast forward, rewind, and many more. Now the, here there is something that I recognized while I was working with DaVinci Resolve and my Achoria Keylab Essential. And I told you I'm going to run back to it. So here we are. The MIDI out is to control your lights on your fast forward, stop, rewind, and play. As you can see now, the buttons are having light illuminating on them. But something that I recognized is when you go into your faders, you have this little bit of a problem. Channel one fader goes to fade itself to zero even if you try to push it up to 100%. Now you see you, your fader for channel one is always getting kicked to zero. Even if you're playing around with it, it just jump back to zero. And this is the problem that I had when I put on media output on Achoria 61 Essential. Let's just revert back and you will see now you can control your fader without any problems. So you can sacrifice here in order to have lights or you have your channel one working, which I believe channel one is more important. If you are a big studio, you can buy a Fairlight desktop console from Blackmagic Design and have all the optimized Fairlight controls like EQ, volume, panning, controls, mute, um almost everything and this is making you have all the controls at your fingertips or else what you can do is you can just buy a cog nano control 2 for just a thousand rain and in this video we used achoria key lab essential 61 for cheaper motorized faders, Presonus has the best option for this. From Hacking Studios personally, we recommend Fairlight Desktop Console if you can afford it. But other alternatives will be Presonus, Achoria and Cog. If you enjoy these videos, I have more of these videos on DaVinci Resolve. Watch the next one here.
Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you 